Welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be talking about Underwater. Um, now, before I get into this movie, I'm going to have to explain a little bit of a um, situation with this movie. So, if you've watched my last video, the Ice Nine Kills reaction video, I talked about how I've um, been sick, got something wrong with the uh, breathing, and I've been using an inhaler and everything. What kind of started when I watched this movie... <laughs> um, so, we sat down, we went to we'll go watch the movie Saturday night. Went to the latest show, and it was like 10.30. Got there, got our popcorn, our drinks, and everything. Sat down, no one else in the movie theater. So, like, alright, cool. You know, we can sit down, relax, and uh, enjoy the movie. So, about an hour or so into the movie, I just kind of had a freak out. <laughs> um, I don't think it has anything to do with the movie, because, I mean, I'm claustrophobic, but I've never had a movie affect me physically uh, while watching it, I mean, if something I don't like, um, but I kind of had a panic attack is what I'm assuming it was. Um, so I had to go outside and get some air, and the problem was, the movie theater was closed, that was the last showing, so the doors were locked, so once we left, we could not get back in. So, <laughs> I saw maybe a little over an hour of the movie. Now, so I can't do a proper review for this movie. But I do want to discuss this movie because I'm very upset with what's happening to this movie. So I do want to talk about it a little bit at least. Um, so the movie started off amazing. Um, like I was very skeptical about this movie because it's January. Usually Januarys have really crappy movies. Um, it's got Kristen Stewart in it, which I know she's done some good movies. Um, so uh, so it was kind of up in the air how this was going to go. So. Um, I went into it not expecting much, just going to sit down and watch it. You know, we had a gift card for the movie theater, so we weren't really paying for it. So I was like, all right, that's cool. So, like I said, I'm not going to talk about spoilers or anything, but um, the movie instantly starts. Like, you get this cool cinematic view of this um, structure they're in at the bottom of the ocean. And not even, not even five minutes, probably, and shit goes down instantly, which I really, really enjoyed. That was awesome. Um... And it kept a great momentum through the entire movie from where I left off at. Um, and I was really surprised it was PG-13 um, because of some of the things that happened in the movie. I mean, I know as we progress, or I don't know if it's digress or progress in this situation really, but um, as time moves on, they start kind of being more gentle on the, the ratings, you know, as far as cussing and gore and blood and stuff like that. Um, which I don't care, that's fine with me, but, you know, um, but for PG-13, there was some pretty intense shit that happened in this movie. <laughs> um, Kristen Stewart did amazing, I really loved her performance. Um, she's claustrophobic, I don't know if that's really spoiling it, but fuck it, whatever. Um, she's claustrophobic, which, my first thought is, why the fuck are you going down there if you're, you know, scared of tight spaces, but I guess it's supposed to be, you know, she was doing it for the betterment of humanity, I don't know. They don't really ever say what they're doing. I mean, they say they're digging at the bottom of the ocean, but they don't say why. Like, what's the purpose of that? Which I feel like there's never a purpose because any movie that involves the ocean, when you get deep, there's always fucking something that comes out. I mean, you got this movie. You got Meg, um, Pacific Rim-ish. I mean, there's a lot of movies where it pretty much just says, don't fuck with the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> but whatever. Um... But yeah, everyone else did a great job. T.J. Miller, I think it's his name, right? From Deadpool. He was in this. Um, I don't know the guy's name, but it was one of the characters from uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is kind of ironic, because T.J. is from Cloverfield. Um, there's one girl, I, also, I don't remember her name, but she was one of the main characters in the Iron Fist Netflix TV series. So you did a really good job. Everyone did a great job. Um, I was really impressed with this movie. Like I said, for a January movie... For not a massive budget, it had a fifty million dollar budget, which isn't not is it, it's not a lot for movies nowadays, but it's still you know a decent amount. Um, and from at least where I was at, they did a really good job of not showing you the main creature. Now everyone knows there's a creature in it. That's obviously you can tell that from the trailers. Um, and they did a good job of not showing that. Now if that was for cinematic value or for um, a budget, give me one second. <laughs> When I talk fast, it kind of affects it. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't know if that's because of budget or they're actually doing that to kind of make the tension higher. I don't know, but either way, it worked great. Um, 
There's only one other person I know that watched this movie, that watched all the way through, and he said the third act um, wasn't as good as the the first two. I don't know, like I don't know if that's true. I didn't get to watch it. Um, but I did go ahead and read the uh, synopsis of it, so I just knew what would happen because it was going to bug me. And I mean, the, what, from reading it, it sounded like it would be great or be just as good as the rest of the movie. Um, but he said it wasn't, you know, I can't be the judge of that. So this isn't really going to be a rating movie or rating review because I can't finish it because I haven't taken other people's words for it. I don't want to do that. Um, I mean, if I just, I guess if I just rated from what I've seen, which is really hard to do because, I mean, you can have a movie that does start out amazing, you know, and then the, the end of it ruins it completely. So I'm not, I'm not going to do a rating at all. Um, I will say from what I saw, it's a really good movie. It does have some problems. I'm not going to talk about the problems either. That's not really what this is about. <coughs> I was just kind of wanting to tell you guys that I have seen it and what happened with it and that what I saw was really good. Um, the big problem I have with this movie, well, not with the movie, but what I kind of want to talk about is the fact that no one's going to see this fucking movie. Now, from what I understand, this movie was made two, three years ago. It's made by Fox. When Disney got the rights to Fox, they kind of just trashed this, or not didn't trash, they just kind of threw it out into theaters, didn't really give much of a warning, didn't give many trailers, I think there was only one, because they didn't care. They had nothing to do with the movie, they just wanted it out of their way, threw it out, seen what would happen. Um, kind of what I think they're doing with the new mutants, but we'll see. Um, so no one knew about this movie. No one was prepared to go see this movie. And the fact that a lot of people don't like to see movies in January is because they're usually garbage. I feel like so far, from what I've seen, that's very accurate. This year as well, that's very accurate. Um, and that really sucks because, man, this movie was really good for what it was. Um, I feel like the director and everyone did a really good job for what they had. And the, I really like these type of movies. I really like secluded movies, you know, where they're stuck in one specific area, like Alien and stuff like that. I, those are some of my favorite horror movies. And from last I checked, so this movie had a $50 million budget. And from what I read, like I said, of the uh, what happens at the end, it could have been a sequel. There could have been a sequel, maybe. Um, but the problem is, so $50 million budget. Last time I read this movie, barely has made $5 million. That is horrible. Obviously, Disney don't care because they had nothing to do with the movie. They put none of their money into the movie. So it doesn't matter to them. And that really sucks. Like, I love Disney. I love most of Disney's movies. But I really wish they wouldn't have done that. I wish they would have put a little bit of thought in the movie. As far as, you know, showing it and trailer-wise and promoting it before they just kind of threw it out there. Because I think if it was promoted correctly, it could have... I mean, it might have not been the best movie in the world. You know, most horror movies don't get... A lot of budget. I mean, some some do, obviously, but like it. Um, but I, that's, I don't expect most of them to. Um, but I really expect it to do better than five million dollars. Um, obviously, it just came in theaters last week, so it might do a little bit more. But this, I don't know. I don't feel like this is gonna be a movie that they're gonna stick in the movie theaters very long. Like I give it another week, if that, and they're gonna go ahead and pull it, um, which is really upsetting. Um, like I said, I mean, obviously, I, I would assume the actors all got paid, you know, so. They don't care. Money-wise, they're all settled, you know, which is great. But I wish they would have done a good enough job that maybe we could have got a sequel. Cause it could have been interesting. I feel like this could have been a cool... I don't want to say universe, because I'm kind of sick of this whole universe thing. I feel like Marvel does it great, but I don't like all these other movies trying it. But a good trilogy, maybe? Um, you know, like a monster film. Like a good, solid trilogy monster film. This one could have really done that, especially if they had made a good profit, they could have upped their budget, and the next one could have been even better. But it is what it is. Um, so that's really all I wanted to say, is anyone that sees this video, if you like horror movies, if you like sci-fi, if you like creature features, go check out this movie, go support it. Um, obviously, I, guess, I mean, I know some people don't want to support Disney for various reasons, and I do think it's kind of shitty they did this movie like this. But at least if you support it, you're supporting the people that made it, the directors, the actors, the editors, everyone. Um, and who knows, maybe we'll get a sequel. You know, you never know. I think it's worth a sequel. Um, but that's it. That's just kind of my rant on Underwater. Um, like I said, I'm not going to give a review about it because I didn't finish it. And I don't want to do a review on just that little bit because the end could have sucked. <laughs> I don't know. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you see this and you haven't watched it, go check out Underwater. It's a really solid flick, and I'll see you guys in the next video.